guys, what's up? It's Mr. NG. We are back on Subnautica, and today uh, we are going to go on to the Aurora, which you can't see right now. I'm sorry about that. Um, but what's the first thing I wanted to show you is that I got the blueprint for the modification station, and there's actually a uh, charged fin in here, which can wireless wirelessly charge your uh, tool that's in your hand while you swim, which is really cool because I need to do that, so I will do that later. And then I also need uh, to try out a propulsion cannon because I got that. So while I was at the modification station, I looked at what I would need to make it even better. And it looks like I needed just a computer chip. So I have that all done and ready to go. Um, I pre-prepared pre for everything. Also, I'm going to get some uh, high capacity oxygen tank. Boop, take that out. And boop, take that out. All right. And... Get the swimmer pad thingamajiggers. Spins, I guess. And then, high capacity tank. Hopefully. Oh, it makes it all the way up to 105. That's great. Okay, and then, probably should bind that. I don't bind that as two. Would I take out a three? Oh, no, this will be two. This will be three. Okay, so I don't really know how this thing works. Like that. That's apparently how it works. Okay, it uses stuff so quickly. And what does it use? It uses a battery. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I guess. I need to get... Oh, yes. It, it does charge it. Cool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, Maria. Okay, so what I do need to do is I need to... Um, Explore the Aurora, like I was going to say earlier. Right there. That big ship that we uh, went to before. Secondly, uh, the outposts that I made over here, um, I played with a little bit. I didn't make it too much better. I made it about what I made the other outposts. And I'm going to call that my outpost because I have a really cool idea for a base. I'm going to put it in that little center section inside of the floating island. And then I'm going to have kind of a... Uh, a way for you to go underneath with the, um, this thing. Sea moth. And bring that up. Why am I kind of tilted? Yeah, whatever. So I wanted to go underneath and kind of have like a cool secret entrance type of thing and all that good stuff. But I was going to keep the outpost there for at least a little while. Um, I may or may not get rid of it. I'm not sure. And I was thinking about grabbing a creep vine sample just in case I could grow a creep vine. Oh, maybe I should grow a, grab a seed. And here is uh, 17. Once again, don't know what happened there. Um, there. I might check my uh, bobber because I'm pretty sure it has a communication system. And if that's the case, I may be able to find out what happened if they gave a distress call at any point. Fish. Um, did I bring any food? I don't think I brought any food with me. I did bring water, though, so I thought I had for that. Um, the other cool thing about over here is that there is tons of titanium. I mean, I should have gone here in the very beginning for titanium because there is just tons everywhere you look. Um, it was extremely easy to make the rest of this because I was using, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 titanium. But I, I had it everywhere I looked. Everywhere I looked, there's just tons of titanium laying there. Um, might have something to do with the fact that there's a uh, large crash site here, but <laughs> that's aside from the point. I'm going to quick show you guys what we have here going on uh, on my little uh, quote-unquote island. It's hardly an island because, you know, there's only a slight bit above ground. Right here, this is my island right here. <laughs> but, um... Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard me! Oh, yes, that's right. I also took a battery charger. And put that in here. Um, I put in some lockers. As you can see, tons of titanium. Um, I don't think I filled any more up. Oh, and I also put the salt and stuff in here. I think it was just kind of throwing random stuff here. And then I have this signal here. So that's something I will try to keep in, ch keep in check. Does this charge as I walk around? No, it doesn't. The only issue I have with it, as you can see right now, uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have an issue. 
Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, so basically what happened is these doors don't work right, and I have no idea why. Uh, can I get outside? Thank you! So that's my biggest issue with this outpost right now, is for some odd reason, it doesn't want me to come in and out. It doesn't mind me going in, it doesn't really want me out. Don't know why, but uh, I might need to keep that in mind for later, because... That could be a potential issue. Um, I don't have too much in there, so I don't really worry too, too much about it. If I have to redo it sometime, I'll redo it off camera. But for right now, I my nose itches right now. Ooh, what do we have here? Open. Come on. What's that? Disinfected water. I don't know what the difference between that and purified water is. Filtered water. I don't think filtered water actually goes bad. It's, it's just water. Hope it doesn't. Anyways, nonetheless, let's go into the Aurora. I'm actually wondering if there's a way, and there's probably a way right there that I cross over top of into the Aurora because otherwise, it might be the basement. I'll check out the basement later if I can't get to it through this way. I don't know what that noise is. I want to say it's just, you know, the engine, but uh, it could be a monster. And if it is a monster, please don't hurt me. I hope this propulsion... Oh, never mind. I hope this propulsion cannon uh, gives, the, gives me the ability to fling off the crabs. That would be so cool. Um, and I think I had the upgrade where it can shoot objects. So... Maybe? I'm not sure. How this is gonna work? Is that all? Why is that all on fire? I thought this was. Was that on fire last time I was in here? I don't think it was, but. Anyways, I'm gonna leave my. My sea moth right here. Please don't run away without me. I do need you to survive. This is on fire. Oh, oh, never mind. I can go right over here. I don't know why that's on fire. I must have gone over here last time. What's with the music? Oh, what is that? Okay, that's nothing. Never mind. That looks like a mouth. And mouth does not mean anything good to me. Oh, I just got terrified for a second there. If there was something huge in this... <sighs> oh my goodness. I'm too used to horror games. <laughs> Where, you know, something huge comes out and eats you. Okay. Boosh. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, man. This place is scary. Open sesame. I got another signal. What's up here? Ooh. What is that? Nothing of use, apparently. Ah! That comes in really handy, doesn't it? Okay. This is a bad idea. Boosh. There's a ton of signals around here. I gotta get out of here. I don't know where to go now. Anyway, there's a ton of signals out here. Oh, I'm stuck. Boop. Get off that edge. 
Well, he's just volunteering. Is there anything else up here? I really wish I could turn up the brightness or something here. I kind of need to. I can hardly see anything. Oh. You can stand on this. It's too dark. Why do I always do things at night? And when it rains. That's, that's the other one. Okay. Don't bother me. Oh, I forgot I was going to bring a, uh, a beacon with me. Okay, you know, I can't see anything. Ah, I can see now. Kind of. All right, please don't be anything huge and walking that can kill me. Nothing big so far. What do we have here? Pressure compressor. Com compensator. Compensator. What? Ooh, that's a lot more. Um, pressure com Pensator. Hardens the vehicle. Cast is under high pressure. Ooh, I can use that for my um, other thing. My vehicle. Which is good. Okay. The lights are on. Okay, everything stopped shaking. The monster underneath is gone, I guess. <laughs> Internal damage. Damage pattern inconsistent with international with internal malfunction. Or, or something. Checking drive door uh, damage. Impact velocity. Calculation of jet collision. The magnitude. Cause the core breach. So basically a meteorite. That's what I kind of thought. Okay. Alright, that, that 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 doesn't seem safe. Um, that looks like something I can weld. Ooh, 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 wait, hold it. Cyclops. Ooh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. I'm glad I came in here. Got that welded up. All right, so this is all we gotta do. Um, this must be what happened, is the motor detected. stopped working. Alright, so that's two. We gotta get ten. I'm gonna get everything on top first. Don't land on me. Don't land on me. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Whoop! I'm just trying to bet there's some little bugs in here or something like that. will bite me. Bite me in the butt. Any bugs gonna bite me in the butt? Containment like that is now. Cool. Further I'm sure that most of them won't be underwater. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. But for sake of looking, I'm gonna look up top a little bit more repaired. often. Ooh. Further breaches detected. I know there's further ones that detected, Maria. Containment breach. Five. Further breaches detected. Five. Yeah, there we go. Containment breach Four. Further breaches detected. I'm, I'm suspecting they're all on this thing. Ah, oh, there's one right there. Oh, why can't I not? There we go. Welding. Containment oh, okay. breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Anything else down there? I'm probably overlooking. Ah, oh, there's right next to me. <laughs> Probably should pay more attention, eh? Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. There's one. How many do I have left? I have like one or two left, I think. Containment breach One repaired. left. Further breaches detected. Alright, if it's not down here, it must be above. But I gotta make sure it's not down here first. I don't... Ah, there it is. Can't believe I didn't see this earlier. Alright, so that is everything. Are we getting off the ship? High energy particle containment field restored. Auto decontamination sequence initiated. Huh. I 
aquatic radiation levels are estimated to return to safe levels in T minus three days, ten hours. Okay, so in three days we should come back. Why on earth did I bring a fire extinguisher with? Oh my goodness. Oh really? No, you don't. You don't want to work now. <sighs> Screw you. I was gonna. I was gonna pull a no-brainer move, but okay. Probably should have used fire extinguisher more properly, but. About it when I was playing around with it earlier. <laughs> okay. That is all danger. This is danger. This has got 69% power. No jokes intended. Boop. Bye bye. Oh, this thing's great. Oh, well, I'm falling, I guess. That's where I'm going. Whoop. No big, nothing big in the ocean to eat me. Peace. Took us, yes. Goody, goody, home free. And we'll be out of here. So, I believe that's the only place you can go right now. I'm going to come back here a little bit later and see if I can't find more. But that'll be after that three-day period. Perhaps the water will go down, or whatever I Welcome do helps. Aboard, Captain. Um, I have 64% energy in here, which is great. I do need to grab a little more health. Um, but I also wanted to check out that large organic mass. Oh, it's so scary. And that uh, heat signature, which we've been seeing this entire game. I'm sure that's probably just some sort of base. Um, that's what I that's what I figured the island does is some sort of base so that's probably some sort of other base I believe I came out of there with what was that I don't know I believe I came out of there when I was um, coming out of the engine room or I don't think it was the engine room I think it was just some sort of core I don't know if you can actually explore the whole thing but at some point maybe they'll uh, add that feature ooh what is that Oh, never mind. It's just a chest. I thought it was a chair. I thought it was a cool-looking chair. And I like my chairs. Ask anyone. Going the wrong way. Gotcha. My bad. All right. I'm gonna go back into this outpost because that's where I put all of my uh, other locations, I guess, quote unquote. And while I'm also thinking about it, I found where the uh, upgrades are right here by accident. Because I figured if the power was so obvious, maybe there's something else here. There's my power pressure compressor. And that goes up to 300 meters, which is wonderful. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, ma'am. Let's see here. I don't need any more titanium at the moment, but I do need to drink some water. And where's my signals? There they are. Alright, goody goody. Going down. Alright, first place first looks like the heat signature. Then we'll go to the large organic mass next. I see that chest, but I'm pretty sure I shut the lid on that chest. And I highly don't there's anything. I'll go check the chest. Oh, there's a signal. I take it back. I'm sorry. I thought I. I thought I closed the lid, which I have a tendency to do. I've been doing that a lot lately, just close the lid after I get done looking inside of it, which I probably shouldn't because then I'll know whether I actually looked inside it or not. Oh, whoa. This is a little bit bigger than I thought it was. But I think I'm still within range. Yeah, I couldn't have come down here before getting that uh, compressor thing. Okay. I don't like those. Ooh, but that I like. Am I am I getting damage right now? Am I receiving damage? It says you be stupid right now if you do this. Oh. Are you serious? 
I don't want to deal with that. Can I? Well, I blocked the door. I might be able to take it. Ooh, don't want to step on anything. And I wonder if those are Caution. bad. 30 seconds, 30 seconds of, of oxygen air. Thank remaining. You. Where's my, there's my ship. I feel like there's Emergency. something around here. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, okay, so more compression means I actually have less time under water. That is completely understandable. Okay, there's that. I got that completely out of the way now. Oop. Push it way back because I don't want to deal with those at all. Because those are all really annoying. Boop. Oh! That's a fish, that's a fish, that's a fish, that's a fish. And I can't really deal with it. Ooh, what's that? Caution. 30 Never mind. seconds of oxygen remaining. This air thing is actually a really big issue. This propulsion cannon is super powerful. Oh my goodness, I just knocked an entire mushroom top off. Whoopsies, didn't mean to do that. Alright, second, get in, get my full health, uh, full air. We're up to here, full air. I can take a couple bites. I prefer not to have any bites. Pretty sure that's how everyone feels. Swim up here real quick. Come on. Take that. I've already got one of these. I don't really need to scan it. Ooh, bad idea. Okay, very, very bad idea. Let's go back up. I would be completely unable to do this if the sea moth Okay, if the sea moth wouldn't uh, be able to handle this, so I'm glad I did this first. Dropling stinger. I know they hurt and they poison you, and it will most likely kill me if I. Ooh, a bed. I like beds. This whole place must have been above water at some point. I need that though. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remain. Mm, need that. Mm, dang. Okay, just a second. Oh, so I can't grab it? Oh, I thought Caution. I could grab it. 30 seconds of oxygen I almost committed remain. suicide trying to grab that. I don't think I can grab that one either. It's Emergency. not on. 10 seconds Welcome of oxygen aboard, remaining. Okay, I'm going to double check with that one, but then I'm going to get out of here. This I can keep bumping things. Jeez. I heard something huge. I don't know what it was, though. What you... Oh, I see it now. They're giant worms. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, I think it's this thing. What is this thing? It's a big mushroom. I could have made my base here. I might actually make a base here. Just be kind of cool. Um, I don't believe there's anything else here. I take that back. There's a hole. That's a loading issue. Okay, good. Nothing gonna murder my butt yet. Hopefully. Giant mushroom tree is what it just said. That's a leech tree. All right, well, um. That's literally everything I can do in here. Okay. Okay. Well, that was, that was cool. <laughs> Man, I gotta stop running into things. Anyways, I'm gonna go this way. Go back to the floating island. I need to get some more health. And actually get some loading in. I hate when it loads in new areas because it just 
does not want to work, which is very strange. But I will be back in the next episode, and uh, we'll check out the other areas. Secondly, uh, I want to give a little bit of a teaser for next episode. I have an, I have that idea for the base, and I will show you in just a second here. Alright, so here's my floating island outpost right here. And if I go underneath here... We go underneath here and where is it at? I think it's it's right here somewhere. Ah, here it is. I come right up here and look at this. This is where I'm gonna put my new base. As you can see, I've already got started a little bit on it. Um, I played around with it a little bit. Uh, I, find, I figured out that if you put down uh, the multi-purpose rooms, uh, I could actually clean out some of this area, so I did that. I'm going to make a ring around here, a really big ring, and then I'm going to have it go straight down into the plummet depth of death and destruction. Basically, uh, that's all I really know so far. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to go just straight down in that direction. And I have no idea what's down there. I actually don't have any idea what this is. What is this? Coral shell plate. I probably can use that. It's a crew cluster. Alright, so that is my little teaser for next episode. Next episode, we will be making a real base. Um, not much of an outpost. Um, because I want a place so I could actually plug my uh, my ship into, you know, kind of just like drive into it and drop off my sea moth and stuff. I'm pretty sure there's a sea moth bay. I'm not 100% sure if that's the sea moth or if that if that's actually the base or if that's just the cyclops. But nonetheless, I do want to do that. I need to look for the cyclop parts so I can make that at some point. And then we need to check out the rest of the areas that we found. Uh, now that we have found heat signature, there's another heat signature. Oh, that's the same one. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a different one. Anyways, I will see you in the next episode. Make sure to leave a double thumbs up down below if you like what you see. And uh, we will be back to uh, make a really cool looking base. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Keep pushing. I'm Come pushing. On. Push harder. I don't feel a thing. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. We're moving. We're moving. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright boys, let's go. Cool.